Ranvi, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. In this room, in this settlement, in this life. I cannot help you with your life just now, but... I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride to Grand Bridge or somewhere nearby for a change of pace. That sounds lovely. And too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? Ranvi, take a break. Let us make for Grand Bridge Shire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not stretch your legs and fill your lungs? I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. We won't take the longship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the Longhouse. We will need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandebridgeshire. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Are, are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. It really is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a town, hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. Eivor, there. What is that? This is where the Summer Army retreated when Grantobridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. And here we are. Welcome to Grantebridge. We should make our way to the Longhouse. Ah, oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. wanted a hub for trade near London. And a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here too. Well, well. 
Well, it's not any voice. It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah. Good memory. Good to see you again. This is Randvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Randvi. Eivor seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Voda. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits have encamped nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. The bandits are camped on the river, he said, east of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Randvi. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from the table for a day and already you are lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you're teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. There. The bandit camp. All right. Stay close. And do as I do. Rude and look sternly at the horizon? By all means. Feel great. Huh. <laughs> 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 
There. That's done. Now to deliver Magni his horse. That was a thrill, Eivor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink to celebrate our victory. At home. Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse. And if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside, waiting for you. Thank the gods he is safe. And thank you, Eivor. And your friend Ranvi, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Someone is thirsty. Are you determined to get drunk? I am determined to get you drunk. Come on. Scared I will outpace you. To be honest, a little. What are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. Ranvi, we can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. All right. Let us drink. Beautiful. Anymore and I'll drown. Ha! I am the Mead Queen, slayer of wolves and barrels. I told you I would drink you under the table. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Ah, oh, Randvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Leaving already? Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy, return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you for everything. No, no, thank you. Safe travel. Huh.
I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Randvi, slayer of bandits and breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Sunivar described his tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful place. Hey, I am eager to see it. Dog? After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. You and Soma. Was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close, very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean... No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskuna as she Something leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Randvi. If you must. the tower. Take the bridge. <laughs> Just as beautiful as Sinuva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on! Keep up! Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. You climb well for one who folds maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. Well, well. Look at this. A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but... Now I've watched you scale a tower in furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger, free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together, over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. 
Every bit of it has been a dream, and... and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh, no, I am... I am sorry. I shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is... I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. I am honored by your feelings, Ranvi. But I value you as a friend. I hope that does not disappoint. It is my highest praise. Of course. Thank you. I do apologize. You need feel no shame. This stays between us. And at worst, we have had a beautiful day. As friends and kindred spirits. More than enough for me. I would like to stay here, if it is all the same to you. I would like that. Andre? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement.
Off we go! Let the sail out! Take the mask down. Can't raise the sail yet. Can't raise the sail here. We can raise the sail in these waters. Monastery!
Help me out here! Give me a hand over here!
Give me a hand with this. Hold. Let's go. Good day, Eivor. Eivor. Randvi, why did you leave? We could have returned together. We could have, but I was... restless. A quiet walk alone clears the head. And you do snore a little. Like a wounded bear. <laughs> That's a lie. I had a wonderful time, Eivor. Thank you for your company. And your friendship. And you, for yours. 
Now, shall we get back to it? I want to see the Alliance map. I asked that I travel to London. What do you know of it? A wild city, one that Hafton Ragnarsson tried to claim for himself years ago. But it resists all attempts to be held. Hytham claims the city is overrun by a strange cult, the Order of the Ancients. He asked that I track them down and kill them. Doing so may help the honest people there, and earn us an ally in the process. In a city so chaotic, it is worth a try. Approach by the North Gate and start asking around. I will. Good. I await your return. You are a good boy. Ah, I was just thinking about you. Just came to give you a kiss. How sweet of you, love. Come here. Oh, darling, how nice to see you. What about we spend a bit of time? Just you and me. I like how you think. Come over here.
What do you see? Danes, make them pay Virgil for the dead that now litter the fields. Yeah! Show sense, please. What would the Danes gain from the slaughter of poor farmers? Look! There's a filthy Dane now! Why don't we ask? I did not touch your herd. You fools are making this worse. <laughs> Thank you. 
These Saxons fight like mad dogs to protect their own. I cannot blame them. Thank you for staying your hand, stranger. What is your name? Eivor, of the Raven Clan in Mercia. Wolfhilda, abbess of Barking, and inquirer into mysteries. Are we here for the same reason, I wonder? Aye, to look upon devil's work. But why would a Dane from Upriver care what happens to Saxon farmers? If there's a rabid wolf or bear on the prowl, I would see it dead. Blame often falls on my folk for such carnage. Well and good, Eivor of the Raven Clan. Take a look at the maulings, and tell me what manner of rabid beast did these things. I could start with the dead cows. Bite marks, but not from any beast I know. And the corpse is covered in strange mold, though the wounds are fresh. You there! What befell this poor beast? Danes befell it. How can you be sure? It was Rothgar's war band. They're holed up in that old church, working their misery upon us. Warriors do not often go about slaying milk cows. Besides, I have heard talk of a beast on the loose. Blood still wet as dew. Where does it lead? By the gods. What manner of beast flung that poor creature up here to its doom? A Jotun did this. I saw it. You are brave ones for getting so close to this awful sight. I saw it, warrior. I did. The night it happened. I saw it all. What did you see? A wolf? A bear? Maybe a rabbit hound? It was a Jotun. As great as a tree, and it laughed while it ripped and teared. It yelled out its name, Grendel. A Jotun did this. I saw it. What sort of beast leaves glistening mold over freshly killed prey? Yet that woman blamed the Rothgar and his band of Danes. Were the killer's men. Whoever it was, never mighty enough to get a mauled beast corpse onto a rooftop. That little girl said the creature was a giant, calling itself Grendel. This may be the work of a band of drunken Danes. Or... Far worse. I should discuss these clues with Wolfhilda. Wolfhilda, I have learned all I can from the villagers and those dead beasts. And what is your take on the mystery? Still believe a wolf or bear did these things? This is not the work of a woodland creature. The bite marks, the mold, most art. So you admit this is the devil's work? Or one of your wooden dragons come to life? A few maulings do not make for a devil or a dragon. It must be a man or a pack of them. The girl mentioned a name, Grendel. No. No mortal hand could rend flesh in such a way. Surely you see that. I have seen the worst the hands of men can do. Deeds bloodier than this. And these men stalk the night, slaying cattle as they go. True. This thing I cannot explain. Three times these attacks have happened. Each time, bite marks, broken bones and streaks of mold. Something wicked walks in East Anglia. Some other animals were attacked in the woods northeast of here. Let us go. This way, we may find more clues.
should be up there in the trees ahead. Can you smell it? It reeks of death and evil. I know that scent well. Carrion and death. Loki's reek. have drawn in a starving wolf pack. The wolves get a bite of you. No, I'm unhurt. Thank you, Dane. I misjudged you. No need, but tell me what happened. The beasts came scavenging for fresh meat. I meant, why are you out here with the dead cattle again? I'm searching for my best milch cow. She's missing. And you found her? No, but I found a Danish axe. It belongs to Rothgar, leader of the warband. You know for a fact this axe is his? Yes. He brandishes it about the village, demanding ale. I will speak to this Rothgar and his warband. That woman is certain a nearby band of warriors caused these maulings. We have no other clues. I know the men she means. They're staying at the church near Brisleek Farm. Come, meet them. Their leader, Hrothgar, is a great man, for a heathen. He is no cattle killer. You have curious opinions, Wilhilda, and an uncommonly open mind. I should say the same of you. Most heathens would point to witchcraft or monsters, but you seek an earthly cause. I have seen many strange things, but the answers are usually close at hand, if only hidden. True. Yet in this case, the Church has tasked me to explain the unexplainable, that, at times, introduces unholy ideas. And your church accepts your unholy ideas? They tolerate it. Lucifer is a deceiver, and God himself works in mysterious ways. So I too must remain open to all possibilities, mundane and otherworldly. Which is why you tolerate a heathen like me. Perhaps. Or perhaps all of us, heathen and Christian, stand within the folds of a greater mystery. Something's off, Eivor. Hrothgar's men are rowdy sorts, but the air is far too still. Stand back, priestess. This is war work. Hrothgar and his men, they... they were good to me. Have a care, Wolfhilda. The killer may yet linger here. Their leader, Hrothgar. I shall find him. See, more fresh mold. Same as in the fields on the cows. The villagers say it is the devil's mark. What do you say, Eivor? I say find the mold, and we find our killer. The same marks as before. Bite marks and mauling. These are not weapon wounds. What manner of demon can fell so many well-armed warriors? Eivor, look up. More blood. 
Someone crawled into the loft, or dragged the body up there. You are Rothgar, leader of this warband. I am. A Finnmark raider and proud of it. <laughs> For the little time I have left. I bear ill news. Your warriors have fallen. Who or what did this awful thing? The monster did this thing. It killed us while laughing. Laughing! It... Broke my axe and gouged me. I... <coughs> I crawled up here to die. <coughs> what was it? Did you see? A foul Jotun. A nightgoer from the world's rim. It spoke. Named itself Grendel. Said it would return. <coughs> Good. We shall wait for it to come back, you and I. Not I. My wounds are too great, and my spirit takes ship. Send them to Helheim. For me. Ride with the winged women, friend. I will handle this Grendel, whatever manner of monster it may be. Wait, warrior. There were two. To not scare the demon off when it returns. We will wait up here for it to show itself again. Get your rest, warrior. I will stand vigil with prayer. Stars. Wake, play, wake, play. No play, play. Now, play. Play! Play! Grendel only want to play! You make Grendel hurt! Mama! I want to go home. I'm all that is holy and bright. What manner of monster is that thing? Not a monster, but a man. Strange to behold, but this... Grendel is... was... a man. Where did it come from? All men have mothers. This one called out for his in the end. And all of us, even the most hideous, have souls. O oh Lord, forgive this man his sins, and grant unto him your grace and everlasting love. Mold everywhere. Stay here, Mufilda. I'll follow this trail. Grendel must have tracked this mold here, but from where? The trail leads southwest. <laughs> More mold. I'm 
on the right path. The source of the mold must be near. trail leads into this pit. Reek. Oh. woman speaks of her child, Grendel. Cruel fate the gods have woven.
My head swims with fever dreams. What just happened? Anything curse is lifted. A key? So fitting. Yet, what use is a key with no luck? lied about the Danes. To protect my boy. He never meant to hurt anyone. But the others, they could not see. He, he kept growing in body, but not in mind. He was my boy. Sweet little Greta. <sighs> Wolf Hilda must know the truth of this. some purpose.
Babus. A4, you live yet. Pray, tell all. I slew a monster that was but a man. Then I tracked his mother and killed her too. His mother? She struck at me in the dark and I defended myself. But it was no hero's deed. Those poor souls. I shall pray for them tonight at Barking Abbey. Leaving already? I must. The bishop is eager for a full accounting of the Beast of East Anglia. Leave my name out of your tale. It is nothing to be remembered for. Understood. Perhaps it would work better as a song. I dabbled in verse as a youth. It may be time to lift the pen again. But what story shall I write? The full truth of this thing may be hard to fathom. Give them a comforting one about heroes and monsters. For the truth, the bone-cold truth of everything is often hard to take. It cuts like a cruel north wind on the neck. God saves us all, A4. I take my leave now, but will write to you once my poem is complete. Farewell. Thank you, and farewell to you too, Wolfhilda. Make it a good tale.
Waffen. of the world. What ails my mind? Must be a hangover. Over here. Good warrior. Hi, stranger. Excuse me. I have a slight pain. Do you notice anything on my head? It's a, an itch or a cut that simply won't go away. It appears to be a... a battle scar. Ah. As I suspected. It must be from my most recent battle. You should see the other man. He got the worst of it. Worse than... I suppose it's possible, yes? If he's headless? My arms are numb from battle. Does it need any dressing? Do you... Think it is a serious wound? Good Drenga, you have an axe in your head. It is grim. I will take it out, but you will surely head off to the next realm soon. Ah. Valhalla it is. I appreciate your candid response. Now I prepare myself for the sights and sounds of the Corpse Hall. I will relieve you of the pain it gives you. Send you down the Bifrost. It is time. You know, there's a great Mead Hall nearby. We could go there and reflect on our greatest exploits. Nothing finer than an endless night of drunken glory. To make you forget all of the dishonorable fops in this world. Just scolds and... Warriors full of mead and story greed. <laughs> All your enemies have been slain. Now, you rejoice.
want you to know that you can be... Hi, monk. No need to brag of your faith. Have you recently tested your faith? Considered the holy path? It is a better way, I swear to you. I am content with my guards. Not as content as I am with mine, I am sure. He allows me to avoid rage. I am never angry. Never. Good for you. Without anger in my life, I am completely changed. No longer obsessed with riches like you. They are meaningless because he loves me. Go ahead and burn my house. Destroy my belongings. I will never get angry. I want you to know that you can be like me. No longer dumb and angry like heathens. Go ahead and slaughter my livestock. It's not... And all of this homestead? The livestock. This is all yours. They are not mine, but God's. I have converted to God, and now I share all things. Yes, you mentioned that. You see? I am not angry. Make yourself at home. It does not bother me. You will soon change from your pagan ways. Go ahead. Destroy more. My faith cannot be broken. Thank you, Lord. For sending this devil to test my faith, you seem lost and homeless. Make of mine what you will. You could burn it to the ground and it will not change me. Yes, burn it down. Make a pyre of the past. Curious, good man. What were you before you became so devout? I was just like you. A stupid heathen, lost and violent. Speaking of which, you should try praying before it is too late. Too late? For what? The eternal buckery you possess? And now you stand. I worry that stool is covered in shit. What is this? Oh no, that's... I mean, that key. Do what you like with it. Throw it in the river. My... Oh, this hut reeks! As if... a battlefield... Corpses. Are these your other converts? Or, or your past crimes? You desecrate my integrity by insinuating such. But my faith cannot be desecrated. Praise be to my lord. Praise be to nothing. What crimes lie beneath your veil of Christ? What crimes have you gotten away with? You are no convert. You are a filthy opportunist. The church gave you riches. I am a strong, Christian, mild-mannered man of the cloth. My pagan past is gone. I am... A hypocrite, but not a shred of honor. You should pay for your crimes. People die unjustly in your newfound faith. I gave you a chance, heathen. I am a better, richer man for what I did. I changed course and... Fuck it! I am still the blood-hungry whore I once was. Fucking die, you putrid shit-eater. Die a thousand ways and times like the others. You would have sworn an oath to a pile of shit, you liar, full of false pride. You should be judged at an all thing for your crimes. Uh. 
those who have given everything away are often those who have taken too much. And you're ours! Run up the sail!
Come here! Come here a moment! See you, old friend.
Hey! Can't do this alone! Alright! We have what we came for! Let's go! Dark is the shadow from home and disorder of the land. They go down. Pride. Merciless men are called to strive. With fire in heart, grow the warrior for the roads of Repton. Sail out! Raise the sail here. Lord in the life or inside the kill. Bring the mast down. Raise the mast. Yeah. Sail is ready when needed. Sail. Catch the wind!
We cannot sail here. Drop the mask! Mast up! We can use the sail here, Abel. More sail! Must grow in these waters. Lower the mass. What do you think you're doing? Set the mast up! Let's put her in here. Guards here are vigilant. <laughs> 